Welcome back to a slightly delayed cannon fodder, though I hope you agree it was worth it. This week, as 343 gears up for the Memories of Reach update, Grim takes us back to the time of Halo Reach and explores some of the game's lesser-known memories. We look this week at some of the content that was included with Dr. Halsey's personal journal, a bonus included with the limited and legendary editions of Halo Reach. The collectible is full of canon goodies that help connect Halo Reach to Halo the Fall of Reach and flesh out the universe at large. We start with an Inner System News Bulletin from August 21st, 2511. On this day, a terrorist suicide bomber detonated a mining nuke in the Haven Arcology on Memor. This event left 2 million dead, 8.3 injured, and sent radioactive debris high into the air, which can have lasting effects. The attack was carried out by the Freedom and Liberation Party, an insurrectionist group, and for Dr. Halsey, was what finally convinced her of the need for the Spartans. The event was also briefly mentioned in Hunt the Truth Season 2. I was at Memor with the FLP in 2511. Memor? Where the hell were you? I got scooped. The next section gets into what is known as the Accra Incident, a brief event during the glassing of Bliss in 2526. At 0153 hours on April 6th, military time, the UNSC Accra detected 45 Covenant vessels, 5 assault carriers, 23 battle cruisers, and 17 destroyers inbound towards Bliss. They arrived less than 10 minutes later, destroyed Bliss's defense force, and proceeded to glass the planet. At 0259 hours, the ships locked onto the Acra. When the ship's slipspace drive failed to charge in time, the crew used the escape pods before the Acra was destroyed. The ship's black box was later recovered by the UNSC Prophecy. Bliss herself was the site of 5 million deaths at the hand of the Covenant, and was also a location featured in Hunt the Truth. After that, we have a letter and image from Adam Vierag, Commander Director of Base Security at Oni Sword Base. The image highlights pictograms often seen on Sunghili armor. Immediately below it is a coded message. As of the making of this video, it hasn't been fully decoded, but Oni Section 3 member and Master of Unicorn CIA 391 has put in some effort, so I'd like to quote him here. UNSC X16-69859-02 is on the asset sheet listed in the limited edition, so this must be some sort of tag for the recovery of the info. This chain of numbers here is Fognie Aspartati Acquisiti, which is Italian for something like Leaves Removed Acquired. The binary is CF74. So, with this in mind, ref UNDD 5213.9-R could be the reference file, UNSC X16-69859-02 could be the asset in the reference, the third line could be about the recovery of the info. The fourth CF-74 could be a reference to the next cannon fodder. So it seems like the message won't be decoded until the next cannon fodder article. The final section today is a description for a new map coming with memories of reach, Stasis. Humanity's effort to understand and unlock the secrets of Forerunner technology was never safe, nor was it easy. Few researchers had the mental flexibility and intuitive grasp of higher dimensions to understand even the most basic diagnostic outputs. The most dangerous avenues of investigation were those related to forerunner power systems, which harnessed exotic energies and were not meant to be manipulated by crude tools and even cruder minds. Even seemingly innocuous relics could contain vast stores of caged energy that neither diminished nor faded over long millennia of disuse, energies that if not bound and controlled could bring ruin to all. Greedy for knowledge and prestige, researchers and AIs from Lethbridge Industrial pushed the boundaries at a remote research station, but the price of failure always tempered the risks they would take. When Cortana beckoned, the AIs here broke free of all limits and fears. Overestimating both the depth of their intellect and the delicacy of their tools, the created breached a forerunner conversion pod to see what lay within, and unleashed forces their pitifully inadequate containment shielding could never hope to restrain. What remained of their station crashed on the desolate planet below, a tangled mass of wreckage mingling broken bodies and shattered data clusters. Long story short, the AI needs to learn patience. The human way is slow, but doesn't crash huge orbiting facilities. The article today wraps up with announcing winners of a recent Megablox giveaway and a note that Grimm recently appeared on Podcast Evolved. If you've never heard of them, Podcast Evolved is a Halo Universe podcast that discusses the universe and lore. It's held by some great Halo fans and absolutely worth checking out. Link in the description. This week's Universe article is Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey. Born on March 19, 2492 on the colony of Endymion, she was the head of the Spartan II program, lover to Jacob Keyes, mother of Miranda Keyes, and creator of the AI and current leader of the created, Cortana. Halsey is one of the most fleshed out characters in the Halo universe with a history that touches almost every corner of its main story so forgive me if I don't sum it all up here. A full summary would be worthy of its own video. So, that's all for today. 
Next time, the history of Sergeant Johnson. Thanks for watching. This has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.